Welcome everyone. This is Joe from We Are San Diego. Now today we're going to visit San Juan Capistrano. Now this is not technically San Diego, but look how short a road trip is there. Google Maps says it's barely an hour due north of San Diego. Now, if you don't know what San Juan Capistrano is, it's a city mainly known for a mission of the same name. This is a historic landmark and a museum at the same time. Founded by the Spanish in 1776, led by St. Junipero Serra. It's one of 21 missions in California and has a multicultural history since it was founded by the Spanish, built by the Native Americans, <laughs> you know what that means, and includes influence from Mexican and European heritage. This place welcomes over 300,000 visitors a year. We're going to play tourists, see some historical statues, look at some structural ruins, and learn about the mission located in Orange County, California. So, let's get into it. So this is a picture of the map we found inside a guide at the museum. First, we went to the church right here in the upper left hand corner. Then we took a side street, had a quick bite to eat at this restaurant here, and then we finally went inside and entered right here. So let's go. Mission San Juan, mass at 11. One of the options you get when going into the museum is that you get this audio tour. It looks like a remote control, but one of the cool things is that you can go to any station that has a blue number, you punch it in, and then there's a little synopsis or story or background behind what you're looking at, and it's pretty thorough, and it's actually pretty interesting, so it's like having your own tour guide at the palm of your hands. Well worth the cost. I personally think we explored the most interesting part of the mission right when we entered. So when you look at these ruins, it's not just because of some regular wear and tear due to the elements over 200 years. There's actually a bigger story behind this, and that this stone church was built in 1797. However, it suffered a collapse just 15 years later, 1812. Now, those four bells you saw earlier, those were the only bells to survive the earthquake. However, 40 worshippers lost their lives that day, so it's a pretty somber mood here. And later you'll see a graveyard spot for those worshippers.
around the perimeter of this courthouse, there's a lot of rooms that showcase the way of life during this period. Let's go take a look. Here we are in San Clemente. One of the first places to visit is the pier. He's gonna do it. Oh, he did it. Gone. He ate it Reduced again. to atoms. Feels like endless beach coast here. Look, built in shade. <laughs> 